hello friends in this video we are going to discuss the concept of SCM that is software configuration management the outline of this video is in this video we are going to discuss what exactly the same process is identification of the objects in software configuration and the finally we will discuss version control and change control which is a part of SCM process. So the first let me discuss about what exactly we mean by the software configuration management. So friends while developing the software at the developer point of view we are managing many documents code files, database script and different kind of entities during the entire software development life cycle. So in general words, software configuration management is systematically manage, organize and control, systematically manage, organize and control the changes in the documents codes and other entities during SDLC. So whatever the change is, we are doing in all those entities to manage all those changes, whatever the acti activities are carried out, that is what the software configuration management is. So we can say software configuration management is a set of activities that have been developed to manage the changes throughout the software life cycle. The main purpose of software configuration management is systematically control the changes to the configuration and maintain the integrity and traceability of the configuration throughout system's life cycle. The four primary objectives of software configuration management is the first one is identify all the items that collectively define the software configuration. The first thing we need to identify the different items of which we want to manage, we want to control the changes. It may be the class file, it may be uh, any script file, it may be your project file. So we need to identify the items to which we can say this is the software configuration item. The second goal is to manage the changes to one or more of these items. So whatever the items we had identified in the first step. So second objective is to manage the changes, whatever the changes we are doing. First time after five days if you are uh, writing again the code, after few days you are writing again the code. So whatever the changes you are doing into the same, in the same file again and again. So we need to have any procedure, any tool that manage all the changes of software configuration item. The third objective is to facilitate the construction of different version of an application. Friends, you know that software engineering is a continuous process, software development is a continuous process. At a time we are not going to give the entire version of a software to the end user. We are giving the first version, then after a few days, second version, maybe after a few months, third version. So that version management and in specific version, which are the different items are there with which status. So that version management, construction of the different application version is the third goal of the software configuration management. And the final fourth one is to ensure that the software quality is maintained as the configuration even over the time. During the time we are changing into the different files and we are uh, releasing the different versions, the quality of that configuration, quality of the software must be maintained. So quality management is the fourth objective of the software configuration management. Now this is the layer of software configuration management process. See in this layer, this is software configuration item, inner one is the software configuration item. Each and every item is having a specific version. So first layer is the identification of the item. 
on that specific item, it may be see software configuration item may be the code file or data script file or your project file or any documents which you are managing at the development part of you. So identification is the first thing. Second thing, the change control, whatever the con changes by any user is done on a specific item. So that is a change control. Then about the change control, there is a version control. And about the version control, configuration, auditing, whatever the version we are releasing, the internal auditing team will audit your entire software configuration management and final reporting to the top management. The concern management people to the concern management people, the respective change should be reported periodically or whenever required. So that is the reporting. So this is a concentric layer of the software configuration management. So referring to the configure, uh, software configuration management task can be viewed as a concentric layer. The inner layer is a software configuration item flow outward through this layer. Then software configuration item moves through the layers. The action implies by each software configuration management task or may not be applicable. Means whenever we are going from inner to outward, the each level may or may not be applicable. For example, whenever any item is created, so first time we need to identify, so that layer is going to be applied. But if we have not done any change or we have not received any change request for a specific item, that change control layer is not going to be applied. So whenever we are going or moving from inner to outward, if a particular layer is applicable, then we should apply, otherwise we should not apply. And software configuration item is assigned to a specific version of the software. Whenever we are releasing the software version to the end user, which item is included, which, which version of that particular item is also maintained. And the record of software configuration item is also maintained into the repository. It means its name, its creation date, version like that. So the first layer is the identification task. That is identification of a software configuration item. We need to add into the software configuration management repository each and every item, whether it is a code file or you can say image file or you can say any of the file when, uh, which is a part of the software development we need to identify and we need to add into the repository the objects start off with the basic object and then group into the aggregate so uh, whenever we are going to create it will be the basic object and then we need to group it to the related aggregate object and each object which we have identified have see different features like name of that particular object it should not be ambiguous with another one unique name is should be given to each object the description that which type of that software configuration item identifier and the change and version information which are the different resources needed by that particular object and finally object realization means which are the documents files and model which is there with this particular object the second one after we identifying and adding to the repository whenever the change request for that particular item is that the change control layer will come into the picture so change control is a procedural activity procedural activity that ensure the quality and consistency of the changes throughout the configuration object directly the change are not going to be done by any user first a change request is submitted whenever there is a need to change for a specific item say if you want to change into any class file so first change request is submitted to the control authority which is generally called as the change control board so by change control board the request is evaluated for technical merits potential side effect overall impact on other configuration objects and the system function again project cost in terms of money, in terms of time and in terms of resource are also evaluated. So change control board is going to evaluate the change request based on the technical merit, potential side, money and time, project cost like that. And finally, engineering change order is issued by the control board for each approved change request. 
that order describes the change to be made which are the different changes which, which should be made the constraint that should be followed criteria to review and the audit so each and everything must be available with the engineering change order and finally access control governs which software engineer have authority also in that particular order which engineer is having the authority to access or modify that particular object synchronization control and parallel changes performed by if different people are working on the same object then we must ensure the synchronization so that is also there with the change control after the change is completed and now there is a need to release a version for the software then version control is needed version control is a set of procedures and tools version control is the set of procedures and tools for managing and create creation of use of multiple occurrence of object multiple occurrence of objects in scm repository means in a particular version we are having a multiple collection collection of multiple objects or multiple uh, configuration items and each configuration item is having the multiple versions because before few days uh, the content of that particular item was different right now the content of that particular configuration item is different so a whole particular uh, version of the software which occurrence of that particular object is available so version control should have the capability of following capabilities first software configuration management repository that stores all relevant configuration so version control mechanism must have the repository that stores all configuration objects a version management capability that stores all version of a configuration object means a one specific object must have different version so that repository must have the capability to manage all the versions of each and every item a facility that enables the software engineer to collect all relevant configuration of the reject and construct a specific version of the software so at the time of releasing the software there must be a facility with the version control mechanism that they can collect the different objects of a specific version to release a software version also there must be a facility issues or bug tracking capability that enable the team to record and track the status of outstanding issue associated with each configuration object see there must be a facility that if any bug or any issue is there the team member can report can issue the bug the team member can resolve the bug and that for each object which are the outstanding issues which still not associate is all that uh, you can say bug tracking system must be there in a version control mechanism and the scm repository maintains a change set means scm repository stores as a collection of all changes made to the baseline configuration means we are having the initial version that is a baseline version apart from that whatever the changes we had done that change collection must be there a scm repository used to create a specific version of the software it capture all the changes to all the files who and also who made the changes when the change was made by the user all this information the reason of the changes must be maintained in the scm repository that is the version control and right now uh, i think uh, a few of us all this know that github git is a uh, one software why do you use software for version management also for the microsoft visual studio team foundation server is there also one open source is there toto jsvn then perforce version everything see these are the few version control mechanism and i think uh, without this version control system if we are if you were to develop a corporate software for small software it's okay but otherwise uh, generally in a good software development farms they are uh, using any software version control system and after changes has been uh, done and the uh, final version is released software version audit should be there 
so configuration audit configuration audit is we can say software quality assurance activity sq activity which helps to ensure that the quality is maintained as the changes are made what happens whenever there is a change uh, change request is there and the people are changing uh, the file but throughout the changes the quality of the software quality of the code must be maintained so how to check for the configuration audit is there it complements the formal technical review so it checks whether the formal technical review is conducted by sql group or not so configuration auditing addresses the following questions has a formal technical review has been conducted to access technical correctness of the change the first address of configuration auditing is to check whether the formal technical review is conducted or not second it checks the software process has been followed and the software engineering standard been properly applied while doing the changes the team has followed the software process and has followed or maintained the standards has the change been highlighted and documented in the software configuration item whatever the change is the developer has maintained that changes is documented and highlighted in two specific item the name of the author of which date all things is maintained so it is there in the software auditing also have the software configuration management procedure for noting the change reporting it is followed and finally all the related software configuration is properly updated or not and finally configuration auditing ensures that correct items have been incorporated into specific build whenever we are going to release the software for each release for each version correct items are incorporated or not also at the time of releasing the specific build or version all documentations are up to date and consistent with the latest version which is going to be updated or changed with the latest build all these things are done with the auditing and again after the auditing uh, quality is going to be maintained so i think auditing is the <coughs> final quality insurance activity and final status reporting whatever the changes we are doing throughout this uh, change control whatever the changes we must report to the concerned authority so configuration status reporting is also called as the status accounting it provides the information about each change to the personal and organization with no answer is what happens why changes happen who did the change when the change was happen source of entire configuration status reporting each time any software configuration item is assigned new update information must be released to pulse concern person each time a configuration uh, configuration audit is conducted the reporting must be uh, reported and the configuration status report we must have a online database to which the developers are reporting into database only and given a management and practitioners to keep them present important change to the project software configuration item so finally the summary is that in this particular uh, unit types of software maintenance the concept of free engineering in which reverse and forward engineering also in a software configuration management identification task change control version control configuration auditing status reporting and the final version and change control is discussed thank you thank you all of you